Here's a thought for Thanksgiving. Have a heart-to-heart -heart thought with the one you love. That special someone you're thinking of. Send flowers by wire. It's easy to do through the FTD florist nearest you. The Thanksgiving special at 750 is only one of 26 arrangements in the new florist telegraph delivery selection guide. Available at your FTD florist. <laughs> This is Morgan Beatty, Emphasis, The Ledger of Life, reminding you that Emphasis is heard eight times daily, Monday through Friday, on this NBC station. Stations, this is a 30-second hotline bulletin talk-up. Just 25 seconds from now, we'll bring you a hotline bulletin dealing with the president. Several shots were fired near the president in Dallas. A hotline bulletin coming to you in 15 seconds. Stand by all NBC stations. A hotline bulletin in 10 seconds. A hotline bulletin in 5 seconds. This is an NBC News bulletin. Shots were fired near President Kennedy in Dallas. Here is a report from Robert McNeil, NBC News, with the presidential party in Dallas. Several shots were fired as President Kennedy's motorcade passed through downtown Dallas. A uh, crowd screamed and lay down on the grass. As the motorcade went by, police broke away and began chasing an unknown gunman across some railroad tracks. It was not known if the shots were aimed at the president. Repeat, it is not known if the shots were aimed at the president. This is Robert McNeil, NBC News, in Dallas, Texas. And here is a flash from the Associated Press in Dallas. The Associated Rep Press reports that the president was seriously wounded. This is not confirmed. This is a flash. Repeat, this is a flash from the Associated Press in Dallas. They report that the president was seriously wounded by an assassin's bullets. This is a unconfirmed report from the Associated Rep uh, Press. I repeat, the Associated Press reports from Dallas that President Kennedy was seriously wounded by assassin's bullets in Dallas. This has been a hotline bulletin report from NBC News. Stand by for later developments as they become available. Stand by all NBC stations. This is a 30-second hotline bulletin talk-up. In just 25 seconds, we will bring you a further report on the reported shooting of the president in Dallas. This hotline report coming to you in 15 seconds. Stand by all NBC stations. A further report on the reported shooting in Dallas in 10. In five seconds, a bulletin hotline. This is an NBC News bulletin. There is a report from Dallas that President Kennedy has been shot. Here is a late report from Bob Thornton in Dallas. Information is still sketchy at this time. We have just talked with two eyewitnesses, a man and his wife who were standing near the president's motorcade. They said that a shot rang out from behind them. They thought at first it was a firecracker. Then, according to the eyewitnesses, one woman who was in a hysterical condition told us that the president was hit in the side of the head and fell into his wife Jacqueline's arms. He was rushed to Dallas Parkland Hospital. We have not had confirmation at this moment as to whether he was actually hit, his condition, or any further details. This is Bob Thornton in Dallas for NBC News. And this has been a Hotline Special Report. Stay tuned to your NBC station for late-breaking developments on this story.
Stand by all NBC stations. This is a 30-second hotline bulletin talk-up. Just 25 seconds from now, we'll bring you a hotline bulletin dealing with the shooting of the president today in Dallas, Texas. In 15 seconds. In 10 seconds, we will bring you a special hotline bulletin. In five seconds. This is an NBC News bulletin. We take you now to Robert McNeil, NBC News in Dallas, Texas. Several shots were fired today as President Kennedy's motorcade passed through downtown Dallas. Dallas. A police officer at the scene said he believed the president had been wounded and has been taken to hospital. People screamed and lay down in the grass as the shots were heard as the motorcade went by. Police immediately fanned out over a wide area. A small Negro boy and a white man said they had seen a man with a gun in the window of a building overlooking the route. This is Robert McNeil, NBC News in Dallas, Texas. This has been a Hotline Special Report. Stay tuned to your NBC station for other Hotline reports and for the late developments on the NBC News on the Hour. This is NBC News. Here is Peter Hackes in Washington. President Kennedy has been shot. As of now, there is no final official report on his condition. Here now, piece together the news items we have as they have reached us from Dallas, Texas. Within the hour, President Kennedy and Texas Governor John B. Connolly were cut down by would-be assassins' bullets as they toured downtown Dallas in an open automobile. Representative Albert Thomas, Democrat of Texas, says he's been informed the President and Governor Connolly were both still alive after having been shot in an assassination attempt. Thomas, standing outside the corridor of the emergency room in which both Mr. Kennedy and Connolly were under treatment, said he's been told the President was still alive, but in very critical condition. The President, his limp body cradled in the arms of his wife, was rushed to Parkland Hospital, the governor also taken to Parkland. A Secret Service agent, Clint Hill, a man assigned to protect Mrs. Kennedy, said he's dead. As the president was lifted from the rear of a White House touring car, the famous bubble top car which was sent to Dallas from Washington, he was rushed to an emergency room in the hospital. Other White House officials who were questioned about it say they were in doubt. The corridors of the hospital, of course, in pandemonium. The incident occurred just east of a triple underpass facing a park in downtown Dallas, Texas. Associated Press reporter Jack Bell reports three shots were fired as the presidential motorcade entered a triple underpass in Dallas that leads to the Stemmons Freeway. After the president was shot, the Secret Service waved the motorcade on at top speed to the nearby Parkland Hospital. Here in Washington, the White House press office said at 1.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time that it has nothing beyond press information on the shooting. Kennedy apparently was shot in the head. He fell face down in the back seat of his car. Blood was on his head. Mrs. Kennedy cried, oh no, and tried to hold up his head. Governor Connolly remained half seated in the car, slumped to the left. There was blood on his face and forehead. The president and the governor were rushed to the hospital as quickly as possible. Mr. Kennedy was to have made a speech at the Dallas Trademark, not far from the hospital. Reporters about five car lengths behind the chief executive heard what sounded like three bursts of gunfire. Secret Service agents in a follow-up car quickly unlimbered their automatic rifles and their pistols, but the damage apparently has been done or had been done. We switch now for a direct report to Robert McNeil, NBC News, Dallas. President Kennedy was shot at today by a gunman from a building along the route as he drove through downtown Dallas. He has been rushed to hospital bleeding. Uh, Texas Senator Ralph Yarborough says the president is seriously wounded. Mrs. Kennedy, who was sitting beside him in the open car, was not hurt, but the governor of Texas, John Connolly, was also reported wounded. As the shots rang out, three shots as the motorcade went by, people screamed and lay down on the grass. 
Police immediately fanned out over a wide area. They found several witnesses, including a small boy who said he saw a man in the window of a building overlooking the parade route with a gun in his hand. The President Kennedy is now in the Parkland Memorial Hospital. An accurate estimate of his condition has not been given. Congressman Yarborough of Texas says only that the President is seriously wounded. This is Robert McNeil, NBC News at the Parkland Memorial Hospital in Dallas, Texas. The Secret Service says the president remained in the emergency room. The governor has been moved to the general operating room of Parkland Hospital in Dallas. One Secret Service man was overheard telling another there is no need to move the president because emergency facilities are entirely adequate in the emergency room. Two Roman Catholic priests have been summoned to the emergency room where the president is one identified as a Father Huber. Again, the president and the governor of Texas have been shot, both in critical condition in Dallas, Texas. Peter Hackus, NBC News, Washington.